Man, the more I look at it, the more I hate where that follower goal is stashed at. <laughs> Maybe it's the colors. I don't know. Something I gotta build. One more thing. One more thing. So the bot is not currently running. Now, one thing I am wondering about... Supposedly, the Pokebot is running. Let's take a look. Oh, that's weird. I was like, why is that like that? The minor delay. Sorry, just loading up my channel. All right. Let's go. Left that up for a little bit too long. How's it going, everybody? Let's take a look at today's issue. Actually, what is the... Nope, it doesn't like me. I cannot, for the life of me, get the Pokemon community game running. And that makes me sad. Maybe I'm just not a big enough deal. Supposedly I can change it here, but it appears not. We'll see. Let it run for a little while and see what happens, huh? All right. Anyway, meanwhile, back at the ranch. So I got an interesting error. Well, I found it interesting. Any of you guys that were paying attention probably saw it coming, but... A developer, I am not. Uh, what am I looking for? I am looking for my Gatia. Pal. So I ran into. No, I don't think you have one. Yeah. Basically, every time the bot checks the token to make sure that it's authorized, it resubscribes to all of the web token or the web sockets, which of course means that it overloads that. So let's uh, let's get into that. Which branch am I in right now? And I added a Discord, but I haven't uh, included the link just yet. Just because I want to use it. <laughs> All right, so... No, that's not what I wanted. Not download. Download later. Okay. Uh, first things first, I need to pull main back into this. Because I made that change there. Like I said, the bot is not... At least I don't think the bot is currently running. No, the bot is not currently running. <laughs> and that is because it's using up all of its 
subscriptions. So let's look at why that is. Get back into the logic here. Uh, let's switch back over to main. And we're going to make a new branch for this bug. Nope, not feature. Bug. Too many subscriptions. And let's update Gatia just to say that we're using that project. Just so we can keep track of it, right? All right, so let's look at this logic. Um, boom, boom. Drag this out of the way. Got our options, that's fine. So it creates a new set of sockets after the authentication. When a chat message comes in, it emits it. Oh, it's got to be something in the authentication area. All right, so basically the only thing that gets called is maintain here. And maintain checks to see if it's got an uh, authentication, well, Authentication material, for lack of a better word, because it's that is basically all of the things in one. <laughs> so if it can find an auth item, then it does this. Let me make sure if, yep. Otherwise, it says, hey, you broke something. Go fix it. Well, that's not what that means, but close enough. <laughs> So if it does not have a token, or no, if it does have a token, it's going to try to validate it, or it's going to error out. If it does not have a token, it makes a new one. Okay. So in validate here, it again tries to grab the authorization material from the database. I should probably have that kicked up to the constructor, but yeah, what are you going to do? Because maintain gets called either way, right? Actually, I'm going to do that because what that'll do... That will make sure that it can't get called separately. That's going to set it to this here. We can get rid of let. And then we can get rid of you. And that should do that. Any place it's looking for auth item. Body data. That should be it there. And then let's do the same thing here. Tag gets made, that's fine. Let's say this dot. 
any place else you're called. All right, and same here. We can get rid of you. And it should be this dot auth item code. That's all the response. All right, that should prevent that from happening. But now, in the WebSocket side of things, so let's look at, all right, so we got the user IDs. Users, okay, that's to get the user's ID number. And then this is where we're validating the authentication. So let's put you away. Here's the client starting. So it gets auth. We create the new WebSocket. So where else does start get called? You know what I don't have? I have start WebSocket. There we go, handle. Here's our chat messages. Here's our register. So I need to find everywhere that this gets called. All right, so it only session welcome. Okay, then it does the other thing. Then where else do you get called? Hey, my Pokemon's here. Catch. I wonder if I can catch my own. <laughs> Sweet. That makes me that makes me a little bit happier today. Water time. I mean, I don't particularly want a Magby, but <laughs> whatever. At least now I can. Now stuff happens, right? Okay, so check gets pushed. This we're validating the database. Doesn't auth maintain. I mean, I should probably put that in the init. But let's try this. Um, I'm just going to throw that in there for now. Ooh, what's going on? Could not find client package. Well, yeah. Oh, that's because 
Oh, interesting. So because I'm bumping this off of main, it includes uh, sometimes git, huh? What are the commands for the pokey? Fed track. Squirrel. Nope, that's not what I want. I need Pokemon Community Game. There's not a whole lot of information on it, though. I need to know the commands. Okay, Poke Buddy, Poke Pass. Poke Shop. Yeah, that's just to buy. All right, anyway. <laughs> Okay, so, well, this is kind of dumb. It means I have to merge. I'm going to have to push a broken project up. Um... No, that worked. I need to clean up some of these. <laughs> Your local changes to the following would be overwritten. Okay. Um, oh, no, not WebSocket. Changed R to use. Yeah. Well, let me push it up broken or not, right? All right, so now I need to go to I think everything here has been pushed. Okay. So what I need to do now, I guess, is merge. No, not you. You. I need a new pull request. I need to merge not into there, but into there. What's this have here? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. And while that's doing... What's that one? 
I have four hundred and seventy dollars. I have zero wins and zero losses, though. Um, all right, let's update. Who is my buddy? You can select one by clicking the heart icon in the extension. Okay, I don't have a buddy yet. <laughs> Fine. All right. Cool. Pull request from bug to feature. Create. Probably not the right way to do this, but who's going to know? Just you and me. Shh. Don't tell anyone. I am going to delete the branch. Well, no, let's not yet. Nothing like having to clean up branches on the server, too, right? All right, so let's go back to you. Make sure we're up to date. All right. Oh, right, right, right. See? We need to go all the way back to maintain if. And I need this. Nope. The token validation failed. Re okay, so it goes into a loop where it's trying to revalidate it. Validate token failed. Okay, so in the validate token. Well, what's going on here? So invalidate, validating token, and then it says the validation failed. So then it tries to refresh. Then we have refreshing token. Okay, so it's supposed to be... It's not doing this part. It's going straight back over to validate tokens. So it's getting a 200. It's trying to update it and then it goes back to valid. Where it fails again.
do I have it validating outside of this? I should not. You know what I should do instead of when the refresh happens, instead of dropping back to validate, I should do maintain because I should start all the way back again, right? Oops. Okay. So now we've got our subscription. We've got, all right, everything seems fine. But now we have to wait 15 minutes. <laughs> but I'm wondering if that was the problem right there. So refreshing the token would, rather than validating the maintain happen. So okay, I need to do the same thing here. And then I guess we'll kind of see in about 15 minutes, right? Well, I guess I could shorten this. Because I don't want to just sit around and map for 15 minutes. Not that I can't, but, you know. Water break. So this dot item, this dot auth item. I don't think I ever use this. Like, I don't even know why I have it there. I wonder if that got filled in by the AI and I just forgot it was there. Plopopus. Hmm. Let's see, real quick. Uh, boom, boom. I'm going to have to mute me because that's going to drive me bonkers. I have one great ball, two pokeballs, one ultra ball. Magby, Baneri, a Slowbro, and a Litten. I guess I should have Litten be my... Because I think that was my starter. Yeah, I said we're not waiting 15 minutes, and yet here we are. <laughs> No, we're not waiting 15 minutes. All right, back at the ranch. I could, I suppose, just drop this down to like five minutes and see what we get. Yeah, let's do it. Well, let's validate every one minute. Why not? Because that'll let me know if it's trying to resubscribe. And that's what we don't want. I could have even made that smaller, I guess. Maybe every 30 seconds. Because <laughs> now I have to fill a minute. But now I don't want to start it over. What to do? Oh dear. Terrible design decisions. 
Maybe I just need a button. Refresh. Then I can see what happens. Is okay. Nope, it is still resubscribing. Why are you still resubscribing? Hit this dot auth item. Let's do. Auth item found. Token found. Put you back down. Because it shouldn't, WebSocket should not be creating a new one. And there it is, resubscribed still. All right, so let's double check what's going on here. So it gets off. This should only get called once, right? What's that I'm found? Token found. And then it says validating token. And then it goes out and gets it. Cool. And it says that it's okay. Has three hours. And I emit auth. It goes back over here. Oh, is it because it's starting? Because I'm trying to make sure that it only starts after it's authenticated. Hmm. Do I need a status? Oh, I don't want to do a status variable. It's so janky. So let's go to the constructor. So then here at start it gets the auth. And then I think all of this just has to be if that's false, right? Got 
connection. Okay, so on open, on error, and on message. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. Else, do all of this. And set this dot started equals true. Let's see. All right, we didn't break anything there. Am I still on 30 or, yeah, 30 seconds. Let's see. Damn it. Nope, still. I didn't do that backwards, did I? Why is this grayed out? Unreachable code detected. Oh, because it's already returned. Jeez. No, no, that's cool. I, I, I set a variable after return. Perfect. Thirty seconds. All right, it's validated. Now, is it still listening? It's still listening. Okay, I'm going to call this bug clobbered. Set you back to 15. We'll let it run for a little while today and, and see how it goes. But for now, I mean, I don't like the way that was done, but what are you going to do? All right, so let's go here. Uh, resolved. Two. Resolved too many subscriptions. I hate that I'm working off of my feature, but right now my feature is the most updated. <laughs> I need to I need to roll everything back into main, but the feature's not done. So yeah. If there is a right and a wrong way, you're definitely seeing the wrong way. We're gonna do a actually Let's just do a new pull request from this one. 
Let's make sure of what it adds. Where's client? It doesn't add client. Wait a minute. I mean, this has its own git ignore. Don't tell me that that means that it also has its own. No, it doesn't have its own dot git. So then, what the hell? Why are you not pushing client, source, all that stuff? Testing, build. Is this a situation? I think I know what the problem is. Actually, I'm 90% certain. Okay. We're still going to do this merge. It takes care of some stuff. Um, yeah, we're still going to do this merge. Or pull, sorry. Worm a damn trash. <laughs> Why does it say it's trash? I mean, don't get me wrong. All right, we're going to merge it. I'm not going to delete the branch that I'm working on, but we are going to merge it. So we can hop over here. Let this finish. And go to main. All right, so now I need to do oh, npx install. Uh, no. All right. Well, we still have this. <laughs> what? NPO. <sighs> and to get rid of all of that information logging, too. Curious about the wormadam trash. That... Oh, okay. Just a different kind. I was wondering why, like, why trash? Is it trash? That seems kind of rude. <laughs> All right, 
and that's the updated code. So, why are there so many windows? So, I can keep saying so, that's why. All right. More water. Stay hydrated. And actually, I'm out of water. So, speaking of soul. And we back. All right, so where was I? Oh yeah, let's make a rotating ad. Well, no, I don't want to do that. I would rather have... Let's go to the... I would like it to perspective, right? Let's go to our projects. We are at this one. We want a back end web page. Well, I guess not really back end, it's a front end, huh? Front. that allows me to authenticate against switch API and see status. I don't have status. Monitor chat. Well, we kind of have that. 
I want to, yeah, I want the bot to be able to say things. I want to be able to trigger bot actions. And yeah, we need to allow for opt out. Actually, let's do that right now. I think opt out is going to be the next project. So let's go here. Oops. Cancel. Issues. Let's do a new issue. That's actually a really important one. So let's go and let me say so one more time. Uh, what? All right, what am I on? I'm on main. So first things first, we need to make an opt-out. I'll throw it at the bottom. And I'm as silly as it is, I'm going to have to make a list of opted out usernames probably. And then that's going to end up being in here in the message handler. Actually, we'll just need a new model. Um, we're going to call this no, I may as well do just like options, right? Well, it doesn't need to be a capital, though. Rename. All right, I'm going to just take this one. Copy. Pasta. And this will be, we'll just say options, um, actually tag is still useful, I think, because I'm going to want the user ID, right? And then we'll just do, um, Authorize, and this will just be a bool instead. And I think that's kind of the only option for now. Like, at least I'll have the ability to add other options, right? I'm wondering, like in the message model, I have. Oh, use it's in the new message model, as data type JSON. Maybe I just have the config be a JSON object. I think I'll do that. That just seems to make more sense. We 
what am I doing with this? Um, doom, doom, doom. So authorize is just going to be a JSON object. So now we just add that guy. Instead of message, it is. Yeah, because that lets me just add things arbitrarily <laughs> into the into there. And if they don't exist, then they just get updated later. All right, so this just creates all of that. Now, in the message handler... Kind of, no matter what, like I want to be able to hmm, here's the question. Do we think that showing the chat message on screen is still collecting data? I mean, it's being recorded, but that's kind of part of Twitch, right? That's that's part of the Twitch user agreement. So I don't think I need to worry about that. Although this would be an easy place to, in, in the bundle message, uh, when I'm bundling it, check to see if they exist in the options. If they don't, set the defaults. Because all of this is the first thing that happens when, when something comes in. Well, this. <laughs> I should actually get rid of this guy. Switch you, get rid of you. So the message bundle is just going to have one more thing added, which is going to be uh, the options tag. Because none of this, none of this tries to save the data. I believe the data saving happens. Actually, I think the data saving happens over here. Oh, it would happen here. Am I even saving it yet? <laughs> it would be funny. I'm doing all this work and I'm not even actually saving it. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm pretty sure it's in the on message. Hey, Jacob from land. How's it going? Jacob, yep, Jacob from land. <laughs> Had a moment where I was like, wait, is that what it is? And I have no tiara gaff. How's it going? The Jacob from the land. <laughs> Are you from Jacob land? Or just the land? All of it. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I can't complain too loudly. Swedenland. Uh, I'm from Freedom Units land. <laughs> I believe that's how it's referred to. Cheeseburgers and carrots per inch. I don't know.
I think we measure in waistline. Something like that. Somebody's feet. Nice. Where'd you end up at? And Tiara, Tiara, Tiara de Gaff, Tiara de Gaff. Does that sound right? My streaming's going not bad. I took a week off, so I'm kind of refreshed. Oh, Seattle's a cool place. Sometimes rainy. I hear it's been hot lately, though. I have uh, friends and family up in that area. Actually, both sides. The the Seattle side and the, the desert side. Where does this get saved? Where's my stupid sequel eyes? There we go. All right, so what I want to have happen here is it gets the message. Bundles the message. Vancouver's nice. Uh, the first time I had poutine was in Vancouver, and I fell in love. <laughs> it's so stupid. Gravy, cheese, and fries. But, I mean, it's everything you need. I'm going to need save. Right now I have saved the message. If not, opt it out. Now this is going to be interesting because I have to get that. Uh, it's kind of a general bot, but for the most part right now it's it's Twitch based, yeah. I think it's running. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Why'd you crash? Oh, okay. I know why you crashed. Because user options model number five. I should have been watching that. Wait, data type string is not defined. What are you talking about? Oh, right. That would be a problem. Huzzah. It still hates me. Oh, I know why. Because I have... I'm using two in there, and I shouldn't have been doing that. I should always leave that the same. Anybody else? Nope. Cool. Yay! I mean, that's basically the hello world of Twitch bots. <laughs> Provide me a random number. It helps if I don't go out of my way to break it myself. But yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot of different uh, pre-rolled bots to 
kind of work with and it probably would have been faster but I kind of want my own and that's being a home labber you tend to want your own stuff <laughs> at some point I'm going to deploy it on my own on my cluster that's sitting over here and hopefully get information from the cluster and and do other stuff that We'll see. And also just give me an excuse to practice programming, right? Because <laughs> I'm terrible at it. All right, so what we need here is a block out for... Am I in the right place? Where's my save message? There we go. I'm going to need to... Actually, at the very top, I need to get the user's info. I'm pretty sure I already do that here. So I've got the user ID, technically, probably. Or am I just using it here? for sending this one. Okay, so... We want to... I don't want login, though. Great, now I have to get the Twitch API out. And what am I using for my get ID? I am using I can probably just search for this. There we are. An ID that identifies the user. Yeah, that's what I want. Not display name or login. So what brings you by, Jacob? From from land? What made you decide, hey, I'm gonna click on that? I'm always interested. <laughs> Other than this could be funny. So it is just ID, right? Yeah, data, user. Oh, wait, but that's getting it from the user login. So I already have it. I don't need it here because I can just do this. in theory. Okay, just grab the user ID. Nice. What are you working on? And do you stream? I need to get used to the idea that while you're here, the camera is here. <laughs> haven't been doing this very long. All right, user login. I don't want user login. I want... There we go. 
honestly, it's kind of fun. I mean, for me, it's uh, having a sounding board when I'm working on something, someone can say, hey, that's kind of dumb, or have you tried this? <laughs> it's kind of the same environment that you get in the workplace where you can kind of go, oh, hey, I did this thing. Because if, if you don't talk about it, did you really get it? All right, so I can get the user ID. Um, I haven't decided what my tag is going to be. Maybe I just do options. Boom, boom, boom. So everything in here is posting. I need to get off. That's what I need. Oh, that's cool. I've always been a big fan of uh, just having journaling at hand. Like I use a lot of... Uh, uh microsoft or not microsoft i always want to say microsoft because they did they got me started on it actually their one note did it um but what is i use google's just because i use a google phone right <laughs> uh keep google keep i do wish there was more uh organization around it but it gets the job done I've been thinking about trying to, to change my mind frame into uh, Obsidian or one of the one of the ones where you have to learn a system. But I'm not a huge fan of learning new systems for that. <laughs> I need to learn a system to organize my system. So I need to find out first what my options are going to be here. Uh, I should just do... Models, but it's not going to be key data. In this case, it is whatever I named it over here. Options. Nice. Very straightforward. And in this case, it is going to be, well, actually, I can just leave it there. And instead of client ID, it's just going to be this. Get rid of you. And what we want is... If anything exists then we can validate it. Nope, not caps. Otherwise, it's like a journaling app with travel for travel with gamification elements based on your own data that you input. So think achievements for number of countries. Oh, that's cool. I would definitely rock that. Like that's one of the coolest things about, uh, Google Maps, you get that year in review and it kind of shows like the places that you've been and and what you did, how much you walked there, stuff like that. Having something where you're actively doing it could be kind of cool too because you could actually add notes. Do you have something uh, like a title or anything like that planned or is it... Uh, Still pre-release stealth level. 
well, stealth-ish, obviously, you're talking about it, right? <laughs> Maybe I need to change this to user, do the same thing here. I mean, at some point, this is going to have to do more than Twitch, but. Nice. So it's, it's more of a, a photo cataloging sort of idea maybe like geo stamping and and that sort of stuff between the the points yeah the weight's not going to work because this is not I think I need to create a separate asynchronous just to get that data up here. Worldjourney.app. Nice. Well, that's cool. I mean, you're you're a couple of steps along in the process, at least, right? <laughs> you've you've got the domain, and you're actually writing something. thinking of getting a landing page out pretty soon and start collecting early adopters possibly like an email or newsletter yeah i mean it more than more than interest you can also get uh design feedback like you know just ask people hey do you want to <laughs> you can sign up do you want to fill out surveys too do you prefer the button over here or over here you know it, silly things like that I do oh yeah but yeah that that stuff's super valuable so there's if people are interested enough to actually fill out a survey then you know you have something right <laughs> All right, so we'll create the tag with the user ID. Um, but no, <laughs> the value is not true. This is where we create the defaults, which are just going to be a JSON object. All right, so authorize. say uh, we'll say yeah it's still gonna be a problem here though I have to get this elsewhere. The 
this dot. I don't have user ops. It's going to be user object. That. And we actually can mostly just copy this. I don't even know if we need to copy that because it's just going to be this top part. Maybe ops ID. Just kind of spitballing on this one. I guess it's not really a get in this case. It's more of a set. <laughs> Key data options. User. Oh, but I don't have that this time. Oh, well, yeah, I do. It's just ID in this case. <laughs> Get back here. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. And then in the handle message, I think I'm going to need to break this up a bit more, <laughs> but not today. Well, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. and chat message sure we'll do that right now that's probably just going to say no Oh, right. I don't have it. Actually, this may not work either. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work either, but no. Sometimes it's interesting just working around the, this is async, that's not async. All right, so I need to get this 
anytime there's a message. Which means I kind of need to load all of the user ops, but that doesn't make sense. Or I need to move the save outside. That's probably a better way of doing it. That's what I need to do. Instead of setting the object, or let's get rid of that so I don't crash the stupid thing. We will instead, oh, am I still? It's emitting. All right, by default right now, it's not saving. Good. We're going to have... ID and message. All right, so then where's my big old chunk? Do piter. Uh, nobody cares about do piters. I do want this if else because I do want the options to be set if, right? That's way too many. Cleaning up, clean up everybody, do their share. All right. So user object equals blah, blah, blah. If it exists, then cool. Otherwise, create a default. Uh, got away. All right, so if it does exist, then we need to validate. If that, then just return. Actually, I don't need it else. Just <laughs> if that is false, then return. You're done. Um, then we basically just save it, which is what I had commented out here. No. Did I delete my save message? Yeah, I did. All right. I guess I rewrite it. All 
Wait, so the message is already bundled. If it's a command, do the thing. Let's see, command main. Wait, why am I not in here? I'm going to copy pasta from somewhere else then. Well, maybe not. Maybe I just write it out. All right. If it finds an object, cool. Serialize dot models. Oh, serialize, sequelize. Sequelize dot models dot messages. Yeah, messages. I think all I should need is message there. Otherwise, Okay, so I think I now have a way of checking for it. Let's go here. In theory, now I just have that. I need to get rid of all these extra console logs I threw in here. Uh, those are all in here. This needs to be logger.info Let 
logger.error. Logger.error. Cool. Now I don't know if it's going to fail because it's me. Boom. Okay. Now let's look. Let me drag this over here. I don't want to accidentally show some keys. Yeah, good thing I did that. <laughs> okay, so there's a downside. It's creating, not updating. So I think it's find or create. Let's test again. It's possible it's creating two of them. Can I delete a record in this app? Let's see. Okay. Test one, two, three. SQLite busy. Okay. We have no options. And it crashes. Interesting. Okay. Why am I, why is SQLite locking? That's new. I wonder if I need to batch these. I mean, I'm, I'm always like, oh yeah, you can send whatever you want to a database, right? So let's see, there should only be one connection. I mean, I get that, that there should only be one, and I figured SQLize would take care of that. So basically what happens is I get the option, and then something else, oh, then it's trying to add the next it's trying to add the response and failing fun and i don't think it's creating yeah okay so it's not creating the option at all I wonder if it's, 
one of the issues that it's trying to create both the options. Well, let's look. Oh, yeah, 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 because these are just back to back. But it should be waiting for this to finish and then doing that. The failure's at 75.13. This is kind of interesting, though, because it finds the data. But I don't have the data here. According to this, it's not created. So if the data is not created, Oh, right. It's not create. Oh, jeez. I need to set it. Create is shorthand for building an unsaved instance with model build and then saving the instance in instance.save. So create does both. If I do okay, so this is saying that it finds it. But it can't be finding it right now. It does look like the problem is that it's doing it back to back. So I think either way I need to build and then save.
All right, so let me go here. If I switch this over to build, then here, same. Let's get rid of, let's just say, uh, oops. And dice it. All right, so now it found it. Uh, at this point, because I'm only building, I'm not finishing out. So what I do next is instance.save. I think that means that I need to make it a, make it its own thing. Instead, this is Well, options get saved. No matter what, message gets saved. Or, well, almost no matter what. Hmm. Oh. Well. Fine. It is true. It is, in fact, not defined. So it's saying user exists. Logging shouldn't be false. Message is not defined. It would be defined here. Do I need to just do this? And 
and then just get rid of all of this. This seems kind of dumb. And it still crashes. It takes a little while. Let's see if there's something in here. SQLite locked. Is there anything? No, it's not expecting me to do this in this way. And that's what I need to figure out is going wrong. I mean, it should be doing it in line. Unless that. That seems... There we go, same deal. So why are you opening multiple lines? All right, let's get rid of all of this. I mean, this should be fine to just do it this way. Let's see if there's something in SQLize to... in read aside and again right about two hours in OBS blade crashes I like it but about two hours <laughs> all right one second I gotta think about this and get some more water
and we're back. All right. Let's see. Let's bring this over. We're not trying to remove a column. We're not trying to do anything like that. Uh, raw queries. This is, yeah, V6. Pass query type to tell it how to format the results. Validations and constraints. I just need to do a SQL sync. That doesn't seem right. No. So we're creating the class. Cool. So if I do build, it builds it, right? So wait, they do user.build. So in here... Okay, so they're using define and then syncing. I should just do that. <laughs> so create logs sets it. All right, so maybe I just run. Save anyway. No, that doesn't make sense. Then it goes to model query. Simple insert. Specify multiples. So I can check multiples, that's fine. I know there's nothing better than reading on Twitch, right? So 
wait, okay, but that's not what I'm doing. I wonder if I need to be doing this. I mean, they're not really related, so I can't really say that it's an association. to create one instance per process. So do I need to just set pool max one? Maybe that's my issue. It's not. Let's try that. Let's go over to here. We're looking at All right, so I've got method storage logging. But now I'm adding pool, pool max one. It'd be funny if that's all it takes. It hasn't crashed yet. And let's see, do we have options now? It didn't save it. No. That's that could be why it didn't crash. Boom, boom, boom. Where'd we go? Yeah, we're still at build. And nope, same. Why is this? Like, I understand if it would crash just because of the response. It's definitely in save chat. And it starts at 76. So my guess is that it's not awaiting this properly. It's actually also interesting that You know what, am I still doing some stuff down here? Because <laughs> that would be a problem. No, okay.
It's kind of funny that I included that on accident. I don't need to save it in this user object anymore, do I? Since I'm saving it this way. Fewer globals is always a good idea. Or just ID. I mean, I'm glad I saw that. <laughs> right. If this user object. It's still in the this uh, one of these days. Same, just crashes. Okay, so it's unrelated. Now, why is it before it was creating, it was at least creating the, uh, it was creating the option item. It is not anymore. Is it creating the message? It is not. Okay, it's not creating anything. Good. Well, not good, but what are you going to do? Let's bring back the console log user object. But why is it saying that it's not a new object? That's what's weird. Wait a second. Is this just me being dumb? Er, than usual. It is just me being dumber than usual. I was the one locking it. <laughs> Bam. Okay. Oh yeah, I can get rid of that now. Get rid of you. We're going to change you to logger.beep debug.
save shot. user exists and oh that was an interesting crash oh just got rid of that okay and we're gonna go here Boom. and we're gonna say New user. Oops, one more space. All right, so now we have a way of checking if the person has opted out, right? Kingler, I want a Kingler. What is a Kingler? <laughs> All right, so basically this just doesn't save it if they're opted out. Now I need a way to set the opt out. Uh, I've got that already in here, right? I added opt out. But then I need this doesn't have SQLize, right? Oh, it does. Oh, so I can handle data in here too. What information? So I don't have it in the user, so I need to get that user. I don't even get a Kingler. Man. What is it called? It is Pokey Buddy. Pokey Daily. Oh, I gotta go there. Squirrel. I mean, that should be 100% soon, right? <laughs> if I'm not in my own stream, there's a problem. All right, so what I need to be able to do is I need to set. So, SQLize dot models dot options. The problem is I'm using the user ID. Do I need to just add that so I have both ways of getting it? Because here I don't have, all I have is the username. Uh, 
I think I also need to put the save message before executing commands because the commands are going to become dependent on the user interaction. Right? Yeah, let's look at that. So back over here. The first thing I do is check to see if it's the break user or if it's the bot user. Get out. Message. I should probably just break. Just say if if the user's opted out, then just jump out right here. which gets me out of having to deal with it here. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. That actually makes more sense than breaking the save out. I just need another if. Yeah, but the entire time I... The entire reason I did this is so that I could do the awaits. All right, so what's my easiest way? What's my path here? Because I need to get the person's settings. Saving, it's not a big deal. But I can't await. So maybe I do a try. This is going to be a sequelize dot models dot options. And we're going to do Is it going to let me await in there? No, I didn't think so. I mean, I may just need to make this asynchronous at the top level. I don't know if that's going to break other things, but... That is a whole lot to log. That's not what we want. This can be options dot logging. 
although that's kind of an if. <laughs> we'll see. Send a test. Crashes because it's going to be a promise, probably. No? Because I did it wrong. Okay, let's get rid of logging. We'll just do authorize. Yeah, it's going to come back as undefined. Okay. Let's just try options. It's still going to be undefined because if anything, it's going to be promise. Wait, what? That's not what I'm after. Oh, Jeebus. I... I guess I'm lucky. That I didn't have the keys or anything in there. Crashed because... It is declared, but its value is never read. Well, it's read right here, kind of. Promise pending. Okay. So I can't await. Can I do then? No. Oops. But I can. can do it that way I believe Oops. this is where I have to do it There we go. Oh, I don't like doing that. Feel dirty, but whatever. All right, but which one of these is... Okay, so it's that one. Boom. So, is it actually logging? Oh, yeah, okay. OK. 
kind of just get rid of this. Let's see. Sure seems like it. So if I replace this with boom. Launcher. No, I don't like launcher. So why is that still coming up? Okay, that's unrelated. Good to know. Where is this coming from? Channel chat message, channel chat. I need to find my console.logs. I've got too many of them in here. Let's get rid of this previous garbage. Why are you even in there? Oh, I must have accidentally gotten rid of the uh, comment out. Whoops. All right. So now we actually have the data, right? No, it's coming back empty again. That again okay and then it still comes back pending the then only matters if I do all of this inside all right is this what I want yeah not really Do this, we do this. Well, that's not going to work because I need the break to happen. I guess I can throw the break outside. And I have this returning instead of breaking anyway, right? So. So we're going to take this. Get you out of there. And that should be this guy. No, it's. No. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, then. Okay. Cannot get...
right, because this needs to be something else. Details, right? All right, so it can find. If, if, if there's no response, return. And then it tries to save chat and then it emits the chat. And right now, save chat does way more than it needs to. We're going to get rid of that. I mean, really, all I need is this. Technically, at this point, I should have already checked. Await, oh, await. Oh, That's AI for you right there. So in this case, Need dot data values. Cool. Dot authorize. And I think I just need dot logging. Let's see. True. Okay, cool. Now I just need if this. Let's give it all the brackets. Then that. But like my entire point was to put this beforehand because... Cut. Bing. This sent chat response. I'll put you right there. Oh, you know, what? I'm going to have to go one more over. I'm going to have to put this here. Take all of you. Oops. 
and then we save it. Yeah, because right now I'm not doing anything with that data, but my hope is to have the bot be able to interact with it. And that's the entire point of opting out, right? And that's the entire point of saving it. All right, so now here, I just say sqlize.models.options. Uh, oh, right, but now I'm, I'm back where I started. I need that to be true, but over here, I need to add to the message. Now that happens here. So handle data comes through. Commands. Where's commands? Oh, no, I can do it here. Close commands, command. Trader event user login argument. So I just need to add another bit of information to that. I just user ID. Or do I just change this entirely? And I just send the event there I do the same thing here so the entire event gets sent then over in the commands I can change this from being user. It can be the question is, where do I put that away? That doesn't matter. So all I'm taking is the first one here. So here it would be dot, what was it, Twitch user ID. Downside of this, it's getting kind of specific, huh? <laughs> Chatter username. I mean, I guess at some point that's going to be this is going to have to be Twitch WebSocket. And then if I want to do something on a different platform, I'll just have to make another one, right? Um, here, so. Cool. All right, and that means here I can say where user equals user dot ID. Oh, but it won't be user, it will be tag. And what do I do with this tag? 
I know I did something silly. So back here. Heptatile. Sure. Let's catch a heptatile. Uh, but in the meantime. Okay, so now it's just not doing anything. I think I did need all of that in the save chat. <laughs> I think I need to do find one uh, or create. I don't remember if that's a capital. Maybe it's not. Does it just find or create? I think I did it here. Let's find one. Ah. Oh. Boom. There's update. Find one, find one, find one, update. All right, must be somewhere else. Find one, create, find one, or create. Oh, it's, oh no, that's mine. <laughs> that's the one I'm trying to find. Okay. Uh, Got to go to the sequelized data then. Sequelize docs. Oh, it's just find or create. Okay. That's easier. Why do I always got to make it more than it is, huh? And then I just make the defaults in here, which I, believe it or not, I have not set defaults with SQLize. Extending model. Oops. Oh, default value. Just set that to true. Wait, how is that set up? It is 
type and then just okay default value is logging true oh, I might need quotes Now, something I got to do is we've got to delete those entries and then write those changes and test. Uh, nothing happened. Cannot read, okay. Well, that's why we're creating it. Okay, so the create doesn't give me enough time. Because of course the create doesn't give enough time. <laughs> Why would it, right? So now, if I were to just go like so, and I say dice, Wait, what? Did I change something in the model? Undefined option. Okay, let's let's try it. Let's all else fails, console log it out, right? Oh, that could be my, that could be what's happening right there, huh? <laughs> oh, it, right now it's only, okay, it's only trying to do it if... because of where I put it, right? Yeah, it's only trying to accept it if it is in fact a command. I don't want to save it only if it's a command. That's problematic. So we still have a problem, but...
So like this, it never sees it. This needs to go even higher up the list is the problem. Let's go here. Hey, get back here. All right, so it's getting options. It's not getting user options. That's fine. Options, data values. Testing again. It cannot read authorized. Did I add a D in there or something stupid? Now it says undefined. Spelling it wrong somehow. Because it sure looks defined to me. Oh, geez, did I do that? Now, is that ID five? Let's refresh. I just saw it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Doesn't seem right either. But that's the one. 
So this apparently does it differently. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but this all needs to go back. Because this needs to go up at the very tippy top. Needs to go right here, realistically. A Pichu. I don't own that ball. No. Sad day. All right, so let's knock all this back. What that if good and Message is not defined. What? If data, if options. Oh, this needs one more tab as well. Oh, uh, this actually needs to go. Here. Because emit should always work. Save is kind of the only thing that we're worried about here. And it created user IDs. Logging is set to true. Cool. And let's switch over to messages. I mean, on the plus side, it's saving it, but it's no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> so we broke something else. Let's go back to save. Oh, that's why. Because I'm still sending the message ID. Whoops. I mean, on the plus side, I'm deleting everything, right? Okay. 
Okay. So it's still coming through as null. Let's Command args. Okay, so that's coming through. Oh, okay. We need to get rid of you. Put you there. More testing. We just make sure. Got options, message, auth, message.model. I should be using new message.model, which is there. And it's still just called new messages. Message. Okay, I know what's going on. <laughs> first things first, this has to go. Uh, I kept it around just so that I could validate that it was working, and it has now broken. We're going to rename you to message model. We're going to update. And I'm going to have to make sure that it doesn't get used there, doesn't get used there, doesn't get used there. Good. Get rid of you. And I need to go here and goodbye. This will actually be a good test because I need to authorize again now. There we go, cool. And I log in as the bot, which requires my authenticator.
don't know why I didn't like the uh, address, but... Oh, Jeepus. Not you. You. No, that should be fine. Why didn't you redirect to localhost 3000? Okay. Actually, let me drag this over here. I don't think there's anything in here still, but... Oh, you know, I wonder if I put it in the app. Did I just rewrite it? No, that really should be working. Why are you not working? Maybe it's something in... in the console? It is, okay. Well, that told me everything I need to know. All right, so now I need to go to the admin portal in my, in here, authenticate, there we go, that looks better. And it'll take a second to loop back around and give me my datas, hopefully. I hope I don't have to restart it. I thought I'd fix that, but we'll see. To do. All right, let's uh, make sure that I get a new issue open on that one. Where's my here? I can mark this one as closed. Technically, we still don't opt out, but... Actually, let's, let's just go straight to that. Um, where tag is... Oh, 
Oh, it's not up opt out though. I need update in this case is um oops. I need Nope, didn't like that. That's new. Socket sixty eight. So that's that's back at save. Let's check real quick. In options, well, it didn't change the, uh, it didn't change any of the options. Wait a minute. I deleted it, so it shouldn't have any of this stuff. Okay, now it just has, it has no new messages. I need to find all the new messages. It shouldn't have any new messages. Why is new messages getting called? Hey! Uh, Gook CV, <laughs> thanks for the follow. Sorry, I was trying to, th I'm like, I know I can't read Chinese, but I was going to try for a second and then, no, no, that wasn't going to work for me. Or for you, I'm sure. Web socket in sixty eight. Oh, you know what the problem is? I know what the problem is. The problem is you're still called new messages. All right, so that came through all well and good. Now, if I do opt out, <laughs> user object object has opted out. <laughs> Why I am object object. Thank you for noticing. All right, and well, nice to meet you, Evan. <laughs> How's your day going so far or night, depending on where you're at?
So I'm getting messages. No badges. Got that. Cool. Now, am I currently opted out? No, right now everyone is logged, is opted in. Now I'm opted out. Maybe. Nope, it didn't like that. Okay. Oh, no, this needs to happen here. I think I need to do this. Bad requests requiring missing required parameter. Cool. Okay, so now it's not sending. Good. I mean, it should still send a confirmation at least, right? But we'll we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Now the question is. Okay, there is a downside. It's not saving my setting. Let's see. We'll just do this. Oops. I'm probably going to have to wrap this in a then. Not ideal, but whatever. Oh, no worries at all, Evan. I was... Uh, just wondering how your day's going. Or your night. Wherever you happen to be. Alright, so that goes... Okay, so now it's not sending. I would say my day is going pretty well. This is, uh, oh well, actually, I'm, I'm like 20 minutes over time. <laughs> but still working. So my, my goal is to just make my own bot to handle uh, effects and all that fun sort of stuff. So there are plenty that are out there. I could use those. Um, I don't want to. All right, so why is test? Oh, maybe I just do this. Yes, it does. <laughs> that's that's part of capturing them and uh, making the bot do things. <laughs> or it crashes, you know. <laughs> All 
Uh, it's just a matter of using the Twitch API. Let's see, let me find it real quick. I thought I had the window already open. Basically right here. The most interesting part of it is getting the OAuth portion set up, but once that's done, you're kind of... Oh, I mean, for me, I'm mostly fighting with jo the JavaScript event cycle. <laughs> Absolutely. I think uh, the majority of the time when I'm navigating about on Twitch, that's, that's all I'm trying to do is learn something new. I do uh, in the VOD yesterday, or also on uh, my YouTube channel, I went into the OAuth portion a little bit more. It might be a little confusing how I did it, but if you're looking for some more information there. Right now, this kind of is my real job. No, I'm, I'm in between jobs. This is mostly hobby. Sync required parameter message. Oh, I know why. Because it's awaiting. Yeah, this is going to have to get wrapped in a then. Right. That's dumb. Unexpected return. Oh, right. It's just going to return that. Um, we want, let's see if that does it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. So it got, gets the message and then it fails there. Oh, because I didn't, well. Let's refresh this. Okay, it's still not making the change, unfortunately. Oh, 
Authorize logging. So why are you not liking it? Wait, what's going on? Oh, it's here. That's why. Hit him on top. Who doesn't want to hit him on top? I need to do this. Delete, right? I see down below your streaming, it's about yourself described. I'm not sure I uh, catch the meaning on that one, Evan. Yes, I do. Uh, actually, right now I'm kind of taking a break from it, but the goal is to deploy this bot into my K8s cluster. Uh, pro, I, I'm certified, <laughs> if that means anything. Logging point. Okay. Let's take a look at this again. Well, it's still putting it in quotes, regardless of how I do it. Uh, have you checked out, I should actually add this to the bot, um, killer.sh. This right here, other than the actual Kubernetes docs, is probably the way to go. Um... So that's my YouTube channel. I do have uh, a number of videos where I do stuff on Kubernetes, uh, but they're not really training videos. It's just me doing things. There's killer.sh and killer coda. These two are uh, really useful. And basically these, these right here are the two things that are the most useful. And this, if you're actually looking to get any of the certifications, these are, these actually walk you through a lot of the things that'll show up on those uh, certification tests. But the documentation 
has tutorials to walk through setting it up in different ways. Killer Coda has actual um, scenarios that you can go through of how to correct misconfigurations um, and how to do, you know, various types of uh, maintenance on a K8's cluster. Those two are the way to go. Absolutely. I've learned more from these two sites than I did from a couple of uh, days of just watching videos on YouTube. <laughs> I'll throw them in here. I should actually, I really should. Actually, I'm going to do it right now. We're going to go here. Because I, I get that question quite a bit, and it is worthwhile. And where'd the other one go? This one. Well, I could probably just do this. Oops. So the CKA, um, that is very specific to the um, Certified Kubernetes Administrator, but they, there's a, a lot of um, virtual labs where they spin up a cluster for you and then you're working within a pre-configured cluster. So that's, that's actual tutorials from the Kubernetes Foundation on setting up a, a cluster and uh, steps to go through in, in actually what you'd use a cluster for. Yeah. Oops, I do need a, if you're, that's better. <laughs> Oops. A yeah, test is still not defined. Now, is that not working just because it's crashing?
I need to get rid of that. That is bothering me. Uh, there we go. Let's refresh. It still doesn't like changing that. Maybe the problem is the update. I don't need that anymore. Twitch model. We want update. Oh, that's not useful. All right, so we have insert select. Find all. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I wouldn't say either one of them is actually a video tutorial. Um, one is the, the Kubernetes IO is the documentation that's quite literally uh, the the company that makes kubernetes or not company the the open source group that makes kubernetes provides kubernetes.io um, the the other one the cka is the certified kubernetes Ad administrator exam uh, and certification that comes from the linux foundation well it's I forgot it transitioned from Linux to the uh, Cloud Native Foundation. Now, Kubernetes isn't directly the cloud. Uh, a lot of cloud applications run on it, but there are other clustering options available as well. How did that get dragged up there? All right. So why are you not updating? Class models options update. Oh, geez, I know why it's not happening. <laughs> uh, sometimes you fight with the wrong things. No problem. I'm happy to help. Honestly, uh, for me, working in the in my cluster is basically a, a video game it is a game that i like to play and it's part of the reason i'm on twitch all right let's go back here um it's gotta be this Uh, sometimes you just have to realize what it is you're fighting with. Hmm. 
missing required parameter message. But more than likely right now. Haha. -ha. Yes. So now it's not going to listen to me anymore. <laughs> if I do dice, nothing happens. It's now ignoring me. Cool. Set this back to true. Apply, right. Yes. All right. Opt out happens. Um, I do still need to figure out why that's not working. Maybe I just do this. Yeah, it would it would work for you. Uh, don't use opt out because <laughs> right now I don't have any way to opt you back in. I don't know if you noticed the uh, the Pokemon community game too. I've got that running here. And you can do uh, Pokey Start, and it'll start a game for you. There's a couple of other channels that have it as well. Just do it without the quotes. Then when you see the... Uh, the wishy-washy or whatever pop up, you can try and catch them. And if you look, uh, should be down below there. You'll have to authorize it, but that'll be your Pokedex. Oh, you know, I didn't even, I don't know if you're on mobile or not. I don't know where it's at on mobile, come to think of it. Yeah, I really don't know where it would be on mobile. Yeah, on desktop, it should be right below me. Just scroll down a little bit. Let's see if I can... I think I still have... Oh, that's fun. Oh, I know what's going on there. Okay. <laughs> to mute this because that's going to drive me bonkers but it should be right here of course I do 
Of course, I, I say that, and I just got it today. Let's see, where is... Catch, Pokey Shop, Pokey Raid. I could have swore that there was a way to battle, but... Let's see. You know, I'm still not sure how to battle. No, it's it's community based, so it's free. And it, it follows you around on other channels. So other people that uh, that have the same bot installed. Well, you there's in-game money. You get money from winning battles and uh, just over time as well. Uh, what's the command? It is... Sorry, I'm still getting used to it myself. So, like, I started with zero dollars. <laughs> and I actually haven't even battled anything. Oh, there we go. Where is the battle? I think the battle is actually in the app itself somewhere. <laughs> It is kind of interesting that I'm getting, I'm not getting notifications in here, but they are showing up here. That's kind of funny. Oh, I'm only getting the ones that I sent. Okay. That's, that's on me. <laughs> I should have caught that. I definitely need an are you sure? We'll just add that to a to do. Because I think I'm just about done for today. Otherwise, we are, we got the opt-out command done. Sweet.
We'll merge that with main. Where'd you go? This one. Uh, here. Completed and merging time. Create and delete. And that crashed again, like you do. We're on main. To a poll. Make sure everything still works. Looks like it. Let's go to messages. Test dice. Cool. Looks like everything's going through. Except for these, but that's all right. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll burn that bridge when I come to it. Actually, now I'm curious. I'm pretty sure this is completely broken. Yep. Well, let's uh, make sure we have an issue open for that. Uh, maybe bug and create. And that'll probably be the next thing I work on. But I think that's going to be it for me today. Let me switch over. Pal. And Evan, hey, thanks for hanging out. Hope to see you again. And for everybody else that made it, lurking and otherwise, also thanks for hanging out. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for, uh, you know, sticking it out and making it the whole way through. Hopefully, uh, we did something you found interesting and have fun. Take care, everyone.